guys, Tank Phelan back here with the shaky hands, all excited for no goddamn reason, but who cares? So, anyway, important video, like, beyond importance, important beyond importance, word. Four basic rules to firearm safety that everybody needs to know. Again, this goes out to the newbies out there, because there's going to be some keyboard warriors out there that are like, no shit, Tank, this ain't for you, or you're going to watch it anyway. Whatever you prefer. Hi, if you ain't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And uh, give this video a like, share it around, pass it around to your newbie friends out there that uh, want to go to the range but never been to the range before, whatever. They need to know this stuff too. So, yeah, give this a like, give it a share, subscribe. Let's get to the video. So, four. There are four safety rules to firearms that every gun owner needs to know. And the majority of them already know it. However, if you haven't noticed, 2020, 2021 were the most firearms sold on record since they started keeping track of that shit, ever. Like, in the history of U.S. of A, United States of America. I could fucking talk today. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to introduce a gun so I can do these safety rules with example. Uh, this is unloaded, which is one of the rules, as you can see. This is my favorite example gun because it just looks so fucking badass. Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum competitor performance center. Rule number one. Let's just get into it. Rule number one. Keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to fire. Why? That's how negligent discharges happen. That's how accidental discharges happen. When you're just swinging this thing around willy-nilly with your finger on the trigger and it goes boom when you didn't want it to go fucking boom. That's how you end up shooting yourself in the leg. Oh, no. Rule number two. Rule number two is me heavy. Hey, baby. Hey. 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 Wish you would jump up here like you. Oh, there you go. Get Hemi. It's our new puppy. Yeah. Who's a good girl? Rule number two. Again, with the gun. Know your target and what is behind it. So you're at the range, right? And you're gonna shoot a can or something because you went out to a gravel pit. There's like state of Washington has a few gravel pits that they control and all that, that you can shoot. Well, I gotta uh, word this carefully. You're not supposed to bring your trash and stuff, but people do anyway, like cans and TVs and monitors and all kinds of stupid shit. And then they just leave it there when they're supposed to clean up after themselves. If you're one of those assholes, clean up after your fucking self, you fucking slob. Anyway, know your target and what's behind it. So, gravel pit for example, you're shooting at a can. Are you going to shoot at a can that has nothing behind it, like gravel? No. Are you going to shoot at a can that there's a building behind it? No. Are you going to shoot at a can while your friend's out there setting up more cans? Fuck no, you idiot. What you want to know is where your target is. So like, outdoor range, you set up a target stand and there's a gravel pit behind it. Sweet, that's a backstop. Or if you're in an indoor range, you set up a paper target. On the little, uh, what do they call the thingies, where they fucking zoom out there at 25 yards or 5 yards, however close you want it or however far you want it. And then behind that is like 6 feet of shredded rubber. That's a backstop. You're good to go. So, know your target and what's behind it. Three. So we've already covered finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Know your target and what's behind it. Three. Do not point these things at anything you do not wish to destroy. Notice how this thing is pointed towards the ceiling like all the time, maybe at an angle towards this wall right here, but towards the ceiling. Why? Because I would much rather have a leaky roof for a little bit till I patch the fucking thing up than to actually point this thing straight on towards the wall because on the other side of this is the kitchen. And granted, nobody's home right now but me and the dog. But let's say my girlfriend's home or the kids are home from school and I'm being a dipshit pointing this thing at the wall and it goes boom. And it's gonna be bad because I don't know about you, but well, these are 44 specials, but 44 Magnums are spicy, which this goes into rule number four and probably one of the most important ones if you're going to rank these. Always treat guns as if they're loaded. Notice at the very beginning of the video, I went like this. Okay, guys, it's clear. It is clear. Why do I do that? Because since the dawn of gun tuber history, there's always been keyboard warriors out there like, if you can clear the firearm, you need, you got, you, 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 it's not safe. It's clear. However, just because I cleared this, notice what I'm doing with it. Finger is off the trigger. I never pulled it once. Barrel is pointed straight towards the fucking sky. 
Because again, I'd much rather a hole in my roof and it rain on me than a hole in my girlfriend's head. Always, always, always treat a firearm as if it is loaded. If it's yours, make damn sure you know if it's loaded or not. If you don't know it's loaded, one, again, what the hell's wrong with you? Two, I should have silenced my phone before I did this video. And three, check it. I do a video on that, which is already out, I believe, on how to clear your firearm. And I use a pretty good gun for an example. I use a Shadow Systems MR920L that's like a souped up Glock clone, which one of the number one selling guns of 2020 and 2022, if not the AR-15, was a Glock 19. So all of you guys need to know how to clear that fucker. Always, always treat these things as if it is loaded. If you think it is loaded, clear it. If you don't know if it's loaded, clear it. If you see your friend's gun sitting on the kitchen counter, ask if you can clear it or if he can clear it for you. Or just shut the fuck up and it's not your business, but I would prefer that you <laughs> ask him to clear it or you clear it yourself. Which, actually, unsacred rule number five, never touch another man's gun without permission. Oh, that's one of my pet peeves. I'm gonna set this down now. So let's recap. One, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Two, know your target and what's behind it. Three, keep your gun pointed in a direction and pointed at something that you don't want to. Or blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what the fuck you're saying. I, know, you're gonna... I am messing up my words. Three, three, dumbass. Don't point your gun at something you do not wish to destroy. And four, Always, always, always treat a firearm as if it is loaded. It's how kids end up killing each other. You see that shit on the news. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. There will be more of these dumb, no shit Sherlock safety videos as I can think of them. And shooting stuff as soon as the weather gets better or I can go to the indoor range. I, I understand it's kind of dumb. I have a gun channel and there's not very much shooting. except for old footage, which again, I have plenty of if you want to see more of that. So, till next time, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> that is a horrible way to end it. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you and goodbye. That's it. <laughs>